All month long, the Eclipse Theater presents Neil Simon's comedy, The Gingerbread Lady, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, benefiting a Light of Hope Recovery Centers. More info at themain.org. That is at themain.org. Or just keep listening, because joining me in studio to discuss their latest on-stage production, a lot of, a uh, lot of... A lot of words uh, coming out of my mouth that it's uh, hard to say. It's Nancy Lantis, Johnny Badger, and Jen Treadwell. Did I get all of your guys' names correct? Yeah. You did. Because yeah. pre-interview, I just, I just, I butchered all three of you guys. That's okay. Except As for I Nancy. Said, I called you the wrong name on Facebook. So okay, so we're even then. Tap, yeah. yeah, right. So Nancy, yeah. last time you were in here, you were promoting Appaloosa, which right. I, if I'm rem- if I'm remembering correctly, was an original script. It was an original production. This, of course, is a Neil Simon adaptation. Got to be a little bit less stressed this time around, right? You'd think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Uh, I'm not directing this one. I'm in it, so that's good, too. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's it's small theater, and you're producing it, so you're doing costumes with your good friend Jen. You're doing set decor <laughs> with your good friend Jen. You're doing promotion all by yourself. And so it's... Uh, it's a lot of hats, but that's why we do it because it's a lot of fun. So, uh, of course, because you're on stage, not only are you making yourself vulnerable on stage, but it's your baby. It's, it's how was Appaloosa? How how was it received? Oh, uh, it was great. People awesome. loved it. Um, it touched many many people uh, from if they ever had experienced, you know, sort of sibling rivalry and. Uh, dissension within a family, um, but also with dementia, with an elderly parent. You know, so there was a lot of um, a, a lot of drama in there, but also with humor, because if you don't laugh at it, then what can you do? You know, right. you got to keep yourself going. But it was very well received. So uh, The Gingerbread Lady, in our copy, it's described as a comedy, but I was reading a little bit more about it. You guys are shaking your head. It seems deeper than that. It seems pretty heavy. Uh, Jen, uh, tell us a little bit about the story. Well, it's very much like Appaloosa. I mean, it's it's a drama, but there are comedic moments in it because you, I think you need that. Mm-hmm. You need some of those lighthearted moments, even though there's some serious matter that's being discussed. Um, so it centers, centers around Nancy's character. Um, how much do we want to do? We want to give the story away, Nancy? Uh, I don't, well, she I'm just she's saying. coming home from rehab, and a lot of stuff goes on to challenge her new sobriety. Mm. Yeah. She doesn't handle it too well, but it all mm. comes all right in the end. And Shawnee, you play the the daughter in this yes. story. Yeah. Okay, I could see it. I I, I could see it honestly. You guys look a, a lot alike. The hair color yeah. really is a giveaway, maybe. Yeah. It's a new hair color. Did you dye your hair for this? Are you a um, natural redhead? I was a redhead for a while before, um, and I actually did. I mean, I always wanted to go this color, right. um, and it just worked out so perfect. Yeah, it looks great. Awesome. On her. It does look good. So it's a heavy story. Do either of you guys have to cry on on stage? Uh, do you guys know how to cry, cry on demand? Do we? All cry on do you guys stage. know how to cry on demand? Give me a if second. I said uh, yes, uh, if I said okay, within yeah. a minute, yeah. I think I could do it. I heard the key to crying on demand yes. is holding your breath, because when you cry, it, it, just in a regular situation, you're you're restricting yourself from showing emotion, and that kind of creates a. Uh, I don't know. It kind of wells yourself up, I guess. Interesting. Well, we um, we've got a great story. We've got a great director, Brad Sergi, who mm-hmm. is wonderful to work with. Really works with the actors. I mean, he's an actor himself, so he's what you call an actor's director. Yeah. Uh, so it's really never a problem. And I've got these lovely mm-hmm. ladies to work with, and and uh, three other actors um, that are just so giving um, on stage that it's it's really it's it's easy to get there. Yeah. Well, and that. the words. I mean, obviously, each of our characters, we have arc of our own right. and our experiences and I think you know everybody wonderfully is, is has the talent and has the experience that we're able to pull from our life experience as well as stage experience to really connect with those emotions and not have to be so technical about the crying mm-hmm. it just, it just kind of comes right. maybe mm-hmm. it doesn't always come in the same place the exact same time but it's always sort of there right. so um, how, how long yeah. have you guys been rehearsing for this since 2014? <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Shawnee was in grade school. Yes. Uh, yeah. I've been preparing for this my, my whole life's life. Work. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, no, actually, um, I did all inclusive down at the main, and as soon as we opened that, we started rehearsing. So September? Yeah, September. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. mid September. Mm-hmm. Huh? Is it tough to remember all the words on the stage? Do you guys ever get tripped up at all? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you do. <laughs> when that happens, do you just improv and then you kind of just pick it up along the way? You kind of do. Yeah. I mean, wow. you, you hopefully you don't like run to a line that's like three pages ahead. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, you which know, does happen sometimes. Yeah. It does, which does, does happen. Does, and yeah. then you get that look in each other's eyes, going like, <laughs> "Okay, we got to get back to this." And yeah, like, and usually someone kind of works it back. Yeah. I mean, we haven't had any major moments like no, that. But no. 
Uh, yeah, but you just, uh, you know, you hopefully you work with these professional people and you know your character, and so you can kind of pick it up and keep going. Mm-hmm. In studio today, we have Nancy Lantis, Shawnee Badger, and Jen Treadwell. They are here promoting Neil Simon's comedy, The Gingerbread Lady, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, all month long in November, benefiting a Light of Hope Recovery Centers. Uh, talk to me a little bit about that, that partnership with Light of Hope. Uh, well, we were very fortunate to find a nonprofit organization that uh, sort of m- the marriage between what we're, what the subject matter is and what they do is beautiful. Um, uh, we, so we're going to send the proceeds to them. Uh, Tim Trorig at Light of Hope uh, is a great guy and was super excited about working with us. Um, hopefully we're going to get some of their uh, youth participants down to a matinee and, and see our show. You know, just the idea that these are people who are going through recovery and mm-hmm. they've heard this message a lot, but mm-hmm. maybe they've not heard it this way. Right. You know? And so also, uh, they may be seeing it presented to them. You know, it's different. Like, you live it, but you're not always seeing what you're living. Mm-hmm. And so when it's presented to you in a visual and you see it, you connect with the matter, the subject matter in a different way. Mm-hmm. Two, per- two performances a day? Uh, it's actually going to be this Friday, uh, the 15th, we open at 8 o'clock. Woo-hoo. Saturday. Oh, <laughs> this is the opening week? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So Saturday. You guys a little bit nervous? Uh, yeah. Nervous, exci- <laughs> nervous excitement, right? Excited. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, we've only got one show, the 16th, this Saturday, because there's the light up Main Street in the evening. Right. And we so did not matinee. want to have to compete, you know, uh, do that, <laughs> deal with that. And then uh, Sunday, the 17th at 2 p.m. And then next weekend is our closing weekend, and we do have four shows, two oh. on Saturday. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, more info at the main.org. That is at the main.org. What do you wear to an event like this? Do you have to dress up classy? Is this a black tie affair or, or just no. casual? <laughs> come in a bathrobe. Just come. Yeah, just come. Right. How you many know, people yeah. uh, are can fit in this Eclipse Theater? Uh, well, it's the main theater. The main theater. Right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, 88? 88 seats? 88 seats. It's, yeah. a, it's a really sort of intimate setting. And... Um, it's it's nice. It's a completely different experience because it is such a small theater. You really feel very like just you're right there. Yeah, you're right action. on it. Mm-hmm. Um, Nancy, will beverages be allowed? Uh, uh, yes, they are going to so uh, the Santa Clara Shakespeare Festival, and we got we got the okay by Tim. I ran it by him because you just don't know. But they will be yeah. serving beer and wine, but also um, sodas and concessions, mm-hmm. and there will be free coffee. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm there. Yeah, but it's anything nice free coffee. Can, I'm there. You can sit there and quietly drink your your yeah. beverage yeah. while you're yeah, watching you can, the show. You can take drinks so into it's the and it's general admission. It is. It is awesome. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. The Eclipse Theater presents Neil Simon's comedy, The Gingerbread Lady, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, all month long in November. Opening weekend. That's right. This week. Woo-hoo. Oh Very yes. Excited. More info at the main dot org. That is at the main dot org. Best of luck, guys. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thanks for coming in. Thank Always. You.